Champs PLC, a leading technology company in Nigeria, recently engaged the capital market on its financial performance so far and its plans to create more value for shareholders. At the facts behind the figures event held at the Nigerian Exchange Limited Conference Room, the group CEO, Mrs. Mayowa Olanio, provided updates to the market stakeholders on the financials and operations of the subsidiaries. For Champs as Hotco, any from non-operating activities, as of June 2023, it stands at 655 million, as against 147 million in January in June 2022, which is a growth of 346%. Champs assets. Champs assets recorded a top line of 2.4 billion in June 2023, as against 1.2 billion in June 2022. This is a growth of 101%. Champ switch. Champ switch recorded a top line of 842 million in June 2023, as against 331 million in June 2023, which is a growth of 33%. Our cash center, Peso Buru. As of June 2023, the car center recorded a turnover of 1.2 billion as against 78 million in 2022. This is a growth of 1,471 percent. Thank you. The chairman of Champs Holding Company, Chief Demola Aladekomo, in his remarks spoke to the dynamics of artificial intelligence and how the group is adjusting to the realities. We all know that we do not have a choice but to adopt, to accept, to flow with change. Change is here again and we all must adapt ourselves to it. Fortunately for Champs, we are used to pioneering technologies. Uh, if you look at our history, pioneering e-payments, identity, and uh, pension central, uh, mobile money started from jams uh, before the issues. AI also, we are doing quite a lot of work in AI. Um, it's going to change a lot of things. And I don't know about the exchange. I'm sure with all the agates, the nerds and the brilliant guys, they will have been looking at the exchange because in the next two, three years, the exchange is not going to be the same. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's either you change or you die. Uh, and I know the guys at the exchange, they are very brilliant guys. They will have thought of what is going to happen. The same thing for champs. Most of our solutions are going to be AI driven. Uh, what is a AI driven thing is for you to predict where the world is going, the technologies that is going to drive the world in the next six months to one year, two years. We're not talking of four or five years. We are talking of months right now. Um, a lot of your essays that you'll be reading today, a lot of your newspapers, uh, ProShare, most of the articles, don't mind them. Most of the articles are written by AI. <laughs> so for us in technology, the same thing. Security is going to be driven by AI. There are some technologies that are going to be coming out from us um, that we almost predict for our people, for the people that provide you services, when you're going to need a particular service, you just see the alert on your phone, this service, you need it, your drug, you need it. So we are very much on top of it. Mr. Dumebi Obodo, the MD CEO of Charms Access, a subsidiary of the group, also highlighted how the company is taking advantage of opportunities in cybersecurity and providing the infrastructure for cross-border transactions. Cybersecurity is one area uh, that we know how important it is. Uh, 
in view of how much businesses have been migrated online. Uh, CBN and other stakeholders have seen how important this is and all the banks uh, in the country uh, currently have dedicated teams. And we see it as an area that has enormous potential. Uh, we all know how many people, how many lines we have in this country, how many mobile phones, how many transactions that happen online. It's humongous. The numbers are unbelievable. And what that also means is that as you engage online, you are exposed online. And what it means is it translates to business for those who provide cybersecurity solutions. So we have positioned ourselves to um, provide these um, cybersecurity solutions for banks. Currently, we have installations uh, in the central bank. Uh, we have installations in uh, Nexim, and quite a good number of uh, um, um, banks uh, in the country. Uh, we also expanding into manufacturing organization. So everybody is practically exposed uh, to the online business. And once you're exposed to online business, you are at risk. Uh, what that also means is that providers of cybersecurity solutions have some money to make in, in that regard. So it's something we are excited about. Uh, regarding cross-border payments, it's something we're also looking at very closely um, in view of some of the um, regulations uh, involved in that. Mr. Dumebi Obodo and Mrs. Mayowa Olanio speak further on the outlook for the group and the plans for a rights issue in the stock market. Regarding the cross-border payments, um, Champs, which, which, is, which happens to be one of our companies within the group, um, has partnered with uh, uh, China Union Pay. Um, and of course, we have humongous amount uh, amount in terms of trade between China and Nigeria. Um, a substantial quantity of what we uh, buy come from China. And we've, um, um, we've pushed this idea of uh, providing a card. We currently have a card that we are promoting um, that, enable, that will enable the um, traders once they go to China. We can easily um, transact and it's something we are very proud of working closely with uh, China Union Pay. And of course, there are also other uh, payment platforms, payment gateway and payment uh, services we are providing uh, in this. So just watch, um, just um, be ready for us in the next couple of, uh, uh, in the next few weeks, few months, you see a lot of things coming out of chance. And of course, these things will translate to better value for the users, better value for the shareholders, better value for Nigerians, in, uh, you know, and then of course better value for the company as well. So that's, we are very poised and of course looking at the African market as well. There are a lot of good things, great things that we're doing across the group. Currently, Champs Hold Co is non-operating. And our subsidiary, we are operating through our subsidiaries. So, and each subsidiary have their own has their own initiatives they are working on. For instance, let me take uh, Champ Switch, the one that has four different line senses. But the major big one that we should be expecting at the end of this year is launching with different banks, not less than four banks. We have six already: China Union Pay. We all know the volume of transaction between Nigeria and China. And it has been a great headache, bottleneck, for the people that bring in goods, importers, and so on. So we partner with uh, China Union Pay International. We we'll process their card. Means that Nigerians can actually use their card to pay directly. Means that school fees will be paid seamlessly. Means that people can sit down in Nigeria and they can easily make their necessary shopping there without worrying themselves about the exchange or FS. So for that is for Champs Switch. For Champs Assets, we are currently poised to resolve a major problem in PFA sectors. As you heard when the, during the question and answers, a lot of people did contribute and their employer did their own. But you discover that some organizations, it is when they need compliance documents, 
they will just pay the lump sum of pension, remitted, remit them in bulk, and they will not have appropriate schedule. Based on this, the money is there, contribution has been made, but the beneficiary accounts are not credited. So we look into this and we came up with that solution for them. We have over 500 companies on that platform and the target in the next 12 years is to have 10,000. These are the things we know. If you create value, definitely you make money. And that says the company will be sustainable. So the stakeholder should look into that. Our peso today, as of today, their growth is in four digits. Why? Because there was a business expansion. Before they are producing for financial, they are producing financial card, which is for banks. But currently, they are the major supplier for telcos. We currently signed agreement with uh, Airtel as well. But we are not going to stay there. We are actually integrating backward. Because of the cost implication of bringing in the card bodies. Why can't we even bring in the raw material and just get a mill and embedding machine and process it here? We are looking at that. So the investor should work, look out for that as well. So across the group, I think you see for each subsidiary, they have major initiatives they are working at. And we have promised we will definitely delight the shareholders and fulfill the promise that by the end of the year, the minimum performance they should expect, not only in top line, even concerned at the bottom line as well, is the minimum of three digits growth. And that will happen. A major takeaway from the engagement from the Champs Holding Company's facts behind the figures is the resolve to engage the market every six months on its performance. It is also expected that a proposed rights issue through the market will afford the group the opportunity to regain the confidence of the market and investors.